So we have a problem. Our battery charger failed on this Dell laptop computer. And while we wait for another one, we would like to use it. As you can tell, as you can see here, we're getting down into the danger zone. 29% remaining. So what I'm going to show in this video is how using a variable DC power supply and a voltmeter that you can bring nearly any rechargeable battery back to life in a pinch. Okay, so we're ready to start to recharge this battery, this laptop battery. We have our DC, variable DC power supply here, 0 to 20 volts DC, and we have a digital voltmeter set on voltage. And our first job here is to figure out the polarity of this battery. We're pulling it out. Now this laptop battery is a little bit different than uh, many batteries may be used to. It has um, a set of spade type terminals that the battery engages in the laptop. So job one here is going to be to figure out where the plus and minus is on this battery. What I'm going to use here, because I can't even get in here with my meter leads, is a couple of crimp-on type spade connectors. I'm slipping these in here on each hand. And then I'm going to attach my meter leads to this. So attaching negative, I'll put the positive one here, negative here. And as you can see, I have 11.39. So I am at the positive. The red is on the positive. So we'll mark that one as positive. Okay, just a little bit about using a, a digital a uh, DC power supply, variable DC power supply. It has an adjustable dial over here to turn the voltage up and down. This this actually displays current here. We're going to be using the output, which is where you're going to connect these two banana clips, plus and minus. And then what we're going to do is select the voltage on here that's higher but not too much higher than what the current battery reading is, which I believe is about 11.4. Uh, now we're going to attach them up positive to positive. So the positive terminal on the battery to the positive on the uh, variable supply, negative to negative. When I do this you'll see this current go up as the battery starts to go into a charge mode. Turn it down just a little bit. I like to start at about 0.6. So that's the charging current there. And it's going to slowly drop as it brings the battery up as these two become at the same potential. So the charging is already taking place, and we're just going to continue, and we're going to let this sit now. And it's probably going to take a good hour before this charge current goes down near zero. And at that point, we'll bump up the DC supply some more to get a further charge on the battery. Now you can get this to charge faster. Watch the current on here now as I increase the voltage. So the higher it goes, the more charging current flows as the potential difference between the battery and the um, power supply becomes greater. I prefer to do this at a slower rate. I think we were right around here. Okay, about an hour and a half has gone by. It's time to bring this thing back up a little bit more. Let's go to about 12. That's just under an amp. I don't really like to go too much higher than that. We'll probably do one more stage after this. Okay, we're going to bring this up to its final final voltage, going up to 12.2. So we'll let this charge, final, final charge. Okay, we're going to call it good. Turn our charger off. Let's just check. Now this should be almost exactly the same as what the charger had on it. Could be a little bit lower possibly. Okay, 
So we started out around 11.5. So we'll put this back in the device and see how it looks. Okay, let's have a look and see what we have now. So our battery is showing 88% remaining. So we've successfully charged this up, getting us by until we can get a new charger in here. And um, to recap the technique, simply use a um, variable DC power supply, put it a few tenths above the battery charge that's on it and then do that several times and bring the battery up slowly to make it reusable. Okay, so let's have a look at what we have now. We're showing 98% charged. So we've successfully recharged this battery while we wait for a charger to arrive. I want to show you a couple of other kind of, bat kind of batteries that I've successfully uh, revived this way. This happens to be like a cordless phone battery, and the problem of, uh, is often is getting the uh, the charger on it. And what worked here on this one is um, just slipping a couple of wires. These happen to be resistors. I have an electronics background, so I have some of this stuff around. And then you can clip your meter on there. Now this one's red. I'm assuming that's going to be the positive terminal, and this the negative. Let's see what we have for a reading on this. Now, I know this battery's been idle for a while, and uh, that proves it. It's reading 3.366 uh, volts. The problem's going to be here. If you put this in a dedicated charger, it won't even detect a battery. In many cases, they look for a certain minimum voltage. So what I've done with something like this is I charge it up again with the DC supply and um, bring it back up slowly and then it'll get to the point where the charger will recognize it again and you can keep it going on just a way to save a battery. Okay, one more example here. And what I have here is a C-cell that's discharged. I check it out and it's reading maybe 0.6 volts. So, um, first thing I'm going to do, we have to attach a means to get the uh, variable DC supply on there and just some electrical tape and some wires on the contact should do the trick. Again, I already checked this battery. It's at about 0.6. Checked it with my meter. And so, when we try to charge this up, we're going to need to do, and many of these uh, DC supplies will have a, a, very, a variety of ranges on them. So we need to go down to a, a, small, a smaller range, going the wrong way, right down to the bottom range, the lowest one, which would be zero. Because this, this is a 1.3 volt battery. So we want to start low. We're going to the plus and the minus. And now we're going to crank it up. Let's watch the amps. Okay. We just didn't have the... We'll bring it down a little bit now. We just didn't have good contact with our connector here, with our tape. But now it's working. So that's the principle. I'm just going to bring the battery uh, back up slowly and, and revive it. Okay, so that concludes this video on how to use a variable DC power supply to uh, charge up a battery for which you have lost or um, has a broken charger or perhaps has discharged so far its normal charger won't take care of it. I'd like to point out in the corner a link that I have to a donation uh, tab. And uh, I'd appreciate it if you got something out of this video, um, if you could make any kind of contribution at all to it make it possible for me to make more quality videos. Okay, thanks again for watching.